season's greetings as we approach the festive season of peace and goodwill. We at UNICEF are excited to celebrate our 75 years of commitment in delivering results and advancing the rights of our children in over 192 countries across the world. 75 years on from the birth of UNICEF, out of the ashes of World War II, the world is again engulfed in crisis, the consequences of which threaten to undermine almost every measure of progress as set out in the global goals. The COVID-19 pandemic widens inequality and disrupts every aspect of our lives. It is the world's most vulnerable, our children, who are being hardest hit. Yet with disruption comes opportunity, opportunity to rebuild and reimagine the future for every child. Today, the world is again facing multiple crises, the COVID-19 pandemic, climate change, widespread social and economic challenges, and rising poverty and inequality. These challenges impact everyone, but they hit the most vulnerable children the hardest. In 2020, over 23 million children missed out on essential vaccines, Belize being one of those, the highest number since 2009. Schools were closed worldwide for almost 80% for the in-person instruction time during the first year of the pandemic. At its peak in March 2020, 1.6 billion learners, 90% of total learners worldwide, were facing school closure. Up to 10 million additional child marriages could occur before the end of the decade due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and we are seeing the trends of that already. An additional 9 million children are at risk of being pushed into child labor by the end of 2022 due to the increase in poverty triggered by the pandemic with growing unemployment and underemployment. Globally, approximately 1 billion children, nearly half of the world's children, live in countries that are at extremely high risk from the impact of climate change. Never has the need for our work as an agency with government been greater. What we do now together and with and on behalf of our children and young people, we set the course for generations to come. This anniversary year is a pivotal moment. UNICEF and partners are again being called upon to help children, their families, and the systems upon which we rely to re-emerge from a major global crisis, rebuild forward better, and make a difference for every child. Three generations of experience and achievement for us as UNICEF, we stand together to join national efforts to support the government of Belize and civil society partners, our communities, our children, our families, to ensure that we meet the needs, the rights, and the well-being of our children. Just as we rebuilt from the ruins of the Second World War, based on three generations of experience and achievement, we stand together with the government of Belize to take action to support a shared effort towards an inclusive recovery which prioritizes the needs, the rights and well-being of our children, especially proper health care, access to quality education, proper nutrition, safety, security, recreation and civic space to participate. The journey up the mountain may be challenging, but the view from the mountaintop will be magnificent. I thank you.